I think every day we stray further away from something that binds humanity together, ladies and gentlemen, something that gives us a purpose to be here. And the only proof I have of that is Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we've all shit-talked Facebook as much as we've could. But today, I have a problem with a lot of ads I see on social media anywhere. Now, for many people, I use my cell phone to browse my Facebook feed or Twitters or some stupid shit like that when I'm on the toilet. And every fucking day, I come across the ever-lovely ads on Facebook. Y'all know the ads for video games and mobile games and shit that are blatant fucking lies. And, uh, frankly, today I wanted to make a video on that because over the past week, I basically went amassing some, uh, some, some videos to, to look at, you know, to analyze, to, to tell everyone that, no, they are fucking lying. And if you ever watched my League of Clickbait video where I showed League of Angels, right, that lied pretty much about their own game, or, like, they had multiple people running their games or some shit, something weird, some scheme they had operating. And it was just a blatant lie. They misled people by showing bullshit gameplay and showing you a game that was clearly different than what they had advertised. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm showing you other games that basically do the exact same shit. Why am I doing it? Because I think I've had enough. I think we all have had enough. And frankly, you know, I just, it just gives me a purpose to play some of these, uh, these, these games, as many people would say. So one of the first things that I have to show is Naruto Online Bandai. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is actually, you can play this on your uh, cell phones or something like that, which is what I'm showing it to you on. But this actually leads you to the Naruto game that uh, I played a long time ago. You know, Naruto Online with the weird, uh, with the fourth Hokage and shit like that. But uh, clearly they're showing gameplay from one of the Xbox or PlayStation titles. I think it's uh, Ninja Storm or something like that. Um, and apparently somebody was uh, very key to tell us that it was a modded version of the game. But ladies and gentlemen, they clearly lied. The game is nothing like that. We've all played Naruto Online. We've all seen what it looks like. It is nowhere close to the shit that they are perpetrating here. But if you look through some of the comments, I love how Facebook has added this lovely uh, emotion feature when it comes to liking stuff. You know, before you just liked something, right? Now you get to like put your emotion into it. And if you look next to the thumbs up, uh, well, apparently there's also a heart somewhere. I don't fucking know why. There is a angry face, which means a lot of people are pretty angry at visiting this. Now, Kevin writes, stop deceiving me with Ultimate Ninja Storm. There should be an open world Naruto game like DC Universe Online. Well, good, good for you, Kevin. Uh, and then fucking... Uh, somebody writes, wow, this is stupid. You guys almost had it. You posted a video with actual gameplay, but the game didn't look that bad. Why can't you be consistent? <laughs> You're asking for one of these games to be consistent. Come on, what a fucking joke, right? Not only is this not Naruto Online, that's not even regular Storm 4. Stop using modded gameplay to show off your game that looks nothing like this. I love how in the comments for it, you just blatantly call them out. There's actually no censorship of comments. Uh, somebody writes, 90% of <laughs> Fucking you know, 90% of people marry their 7th grade love. Since you have read this, you will be told good news tonight. If you don't pass this on 9 comments, your worst week starts now. This isn't fake. Apparently, if you copy and paste this on 10 comments in the next 10 minutes, you will have the best day of your life tomorrow. You will either get kissed or asked out in the next 53 minutes. What an odd fucking proof on how many minutes it'll take for you to get asked out. Now, <laughs> I love the comments. Hang yourself with bared wire. <laughs> Why am I not fucking surprised? Now this is something by Game Analyze. This uh, this this would be a little harder for people to know. Obviously, we know the Naruto thing is bullshit, but here, ladies and gentlemen, we have a game that looks like poor CGI out of an Assassin's Creed game. Ladies and gentlemen, this uh, says, "Have you played this new game?" Oh, well, I haven't. I, I don't even think that's a fucking game. But it's got likes. It's got a it's got a little you know fucking weird happy face, and then it's got angry face. It's got ninety comments. I'm gonna open up and read some of these lovely comments. I don't even think this is the real game to what they are advertising. You are not fucking wrong. I love Facebook. But ladies and gentlemen, that game leads to something called uh, Clash of Kings. All right. So for those of you who don't know what Clash of Kings is, it's one of those Farmville-esque games where you build your fucking kingdom or some shit like that. You know, one of the games that, oh, let's hope your girlfriend doesn't walk in on you playing it. Are we going to play it? Of course we fucking are. We're going to see if it's anywhere close to the lovely lie that they're presenting or, or, or is it not? I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking, I haven't played Clash of Kings yet. Let's see if I'm fucking wrong. I guarantee you a million dollars. I'm not fucking wrong. Let's go into this. Wow, am I fucking shocked, ladies and gentlemen. This is Clash of Kings. It is literally the biggest ripoff 
of one of the leading games in this entire fr- in this entire ecosystem, and that's I think Clash of Kings, and that one Arnold makes like Mobile Strike. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what it is? It's a game where uh, you just build your kingdoms. The sawmill. Wow, that is a very very fucking scary way for me. wow that was downright spooky i don't even have any audio for this not that i think many people would want to hear the audio to this but here you go if i gotta hear it you gotta hear it the sawmill is where wood is produced and stored oh my god is this oh my god what how is this even allowed how the fuck is this shit even allowed now ladies and gentlemen i mentioned this last time i did league of clickbait and the thing is is that With League of Clickbait, right, with, like, League of Angels, I said, isn't it false advertising? Now, somebody private messaged me later and told me, it it is actually isn't, because they're releasing the game for free. You don't have to pay anything to download this game. It's a free download. But let's be serious here. Most people that download shit like this, they end up paying for the microtransactions that, like, that are really prevalent in these games. If you ever played any of these Farmville S build your kingdom game or some shit, Legend 27 memes, then it all asks you to pay a shit ton of money in the long run, right? Like it asks you to pay more. Like some people end up spending hundreds of dollars on this shit, hundreds of dollars playing games like this that, uh, you know, I mean, and the thing is I'm not dogging on the game here. By no means am I dogging on Clash of Kings. I think a lot of people do play these games just as a way to waste time, and I guess maybe the grand majority don't, because the thing with a lot of these free-to-play games is that they target people who have really poor impulse buying skills, right? Look at, look at that shit. It's just spamming me full of, like, six dolans, 13 all the way up to 139 dollars, and if I click on buying one of them, it just straight up leads you. It straight up just like takes you to the touch ID section, so it's like even if you hit it by mistake and you quickly try to like press the home button, then you might actually go get away with like paying for something. It's so fucking the some of the practices used by these games are beyond shady as shit. But here they got quests, which are basically build shit, build shit, build shit, build shit. And like everywhere they plug in sales, like seven dollars for that over there, whatever the fuck it could even be. You go over here, get some rewards, keep getting, it just throws you pennies and sheets. It's almost like a slot machine-esque thing. It targets people who have really poor impulse skills, right? So they'll, they'll buy anything, you know? It's like, it's kind of people who are like, oh, it's only $7, let's do it. It's like people who are in front of a slot machine, right? They're like, I'm gonna spend money, maybe I'll get something out of it. Except here, you almost don't. At least with gambling, you have a chance to win an extra amount of money. Here, you're just spending money on, like, a virtual kingdom that you're gonna forget about as soon as you leave the bathroom. Now again, is this anywhere close to that lovely Assassin's Creed CGI that we witnessed, versus the actual thing over here? No. No, it's not. It's not that I have an issue with them lying so much to the consumer about how their game doesn't look like that Assassin's Creed thing, but the thing is that games like Assassin's Creed actually do exist on the platform themselves. You know, you can actually play games like Assassin's Creed. This is AC Identity. I got it for about a buck 99 or buck 39. I don't know what the Canadian price is. They're kind of weird. But the thing is, you can actually ga- get games like that on platforms like this. It's not something weird or difficult for people to get. You can get games that look like that CGI. In fact, sometimes even better on the current platform itself. It's not like mobile gaming only has games like Clash of Kings or Mobile Strike or something like that. It's the fact that a lot of these companies get away with just simply lying about it. And I think maybe that needs to be a little retooled because let's be serious here. These games that they show are very serious money makers. You know, if you look at Game of War, I think at one point the company was grossing like 1 million US dollars a day just off of microtransactions. Now, of course, a lot of people play Game of War. A lot of people play more Game of War than any other game out on the market. That is a fucking fact. You know, it's one of the most played MMOs, if you want to call it that. But the thing is, is that you can see where they're making a shit ton of money just microtransactioning the shit out of their game. Like, that that's sort of the thing about the entire franchise. A lot of these companies, they make a crap ton of money just microtransaction. You might not think they make a lot, but they really fucking do. Well, the thing is, is that the advertising is so blatant. And now why am I making a video on this? Because every fucking day when I have to look through Facebook after like three or four scrolls out of my out of someone's feed, I always see one of these games. They have multiple other games out. There's one called Battle Camp, where if you were on Twitter a while back, what they did was they actually had like they had like a screenshot from red, blue, and yellow Pokemon, and <laughs> they basically said this was this was gaming back in 1990 something, right? Whenever that game released, and then they were like, this is gaming in 2015, 16, 17, whatever year they are advertising in. And they showed a screenshot from their game and just blatantly comparing it to Pokemon. So it's like, 
Nintendo, you get on a lot of people for using your fucking property, for, you know, for, for the wrong reasons or making fan games. Why the fuck ain't you stopping this shit? Point is, I'm going to end this where it's at. I think I've said my peace, ladies and gentlemen. If you know, if you enjoyed the video, if you, um, if you have any of these games to mention, please tell us in the comment section below. I'm going to end the, <laughs> the video over here. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out. Thank you.